Hi and welcome to this tips and tricks video. My name is Dave Hiddeman. I'm the application specialist for the steel segment here at Trimble. And today I want to talk to you about creating custom profiles using DWG files. Um, a lot of times we'll get questions from people of, you know, how do I get this custom deck shape in here? Or how do I get this cladding or, or uh, gutters or, I mean, all, all kinds of different shapes in here. So, um, you know, a lot of stuff can be created through the profile catalog and through some other tools, but a lot of times you already have a DWG cross section to work with. So, um, or you can get one from like a manufacturer's website or something like that. So I'm going to show you how you can use that. So the, the absolute simplest way, um, by the way, I already have a couple of CAD files loaded up here. So here I have a sample of like a, a handrail, like an ornamental uh, top handrail piece you might buy from somewhere. Um, a piece of curtain wall framing, uh, and also uh, a drawing of some deck. So I just want to give you uh, just a basic idea on how you can bring these into Tecla. So first off, uh, what you want to do is go up to your file menu, go to catalogs, and then you can choose define profiles. And there are several ways you can define profiles. Today we're going to focus on this DWG import. So I'm going to define a cross section using a DWG file. Here I can choose the file that I want to use as a, as a template. I'll do the handrail first. Um, we can then define a section name and a profile name. So the profile name is the name you'll see in the profile catalog when you go to model this part. The section name is just a cross-section name. Now, for something fixed like this, I usually make them the same thing. So I'll just call this handrail uh, type A, and then I'll just copy-paste, um, just to keep things simple. You can also change the profile attributes. I usually leave this alone, but sometimes I'll change this to just be a type question mark because it is not a standard type of shape, especially this thing. Um, and that's usually all I'll do. You can also adjust some settings for like how accurate the shape is. Do we need to offset it from the insertion point? But again, we're trying to stick with the basics here today. So I'll say apply. And then um, to actually create the part, what you do is you pick two points. And this does two things. One, it's going to create the part in the model to kind of verify that yes, the shape that you're trying to import actually works, which in this case it did. Um, but it also, that process adds it to the profile catalog. So if I wanted to go ahead and make another one of these inside of my um, my profile catalog, which I can access through like beam properties or something like that, here I'll just do a search, uh, just use the filter up here at the top, and I can see there's my handrail type A. Um, so I can just use this now like any old regular profile, um, pick two points and I can get that shape. Okay, so that's simple if you have a file that's already cleaned up and ready to go. Obviously, it's very, very easy, very quick to get that in. I'll do one more here. I have this, uh, it's kind of a piece of curtain wall framing. Um, again, we'll just call this type A. I'll just say CW for curtain wall. Um, I say apply, go back to the file menu. I want to go to catalogs, define profiles, and then define using DWG file, pick two points, and it creates that shape. So again, once you've got the file ready to go, it's really easy to get them in here, and they just get added to the profile catalog. Um, so let's take a look uh, at what it takes to get the file ready. So if I go back here to my CAD files, and I'll look at this decking um, drawing right here. So obviously this is still pretty basic, but um, we need to, to pare this down a bit. When you go to import a DWG file, you do not want to have um, any kind of... Uh, dimensions in here. So let's go ahead and take out this dimension. Um, we don't want to have any of this extra line work or anything. We want to basically get it reduced to just what makes up the shape that we're trying to import. So, you know, do this with a copy of the file or something like that if you need to. Um, also, we have to make sure that this is a closed polygon. So here um, you can see there being a deck, it is actually defining the thickness here. Um, so you, you don't want to have just a single line. If you need to offset that line, the thickness, you know, whatever gauge material this happens to be, then that's what you need to do. And you also need to make sure that it closes. So here is an example. Um, I, I purposely went in and, and made something that would not work. Here I can see at the outside corner, it's currently open. And here I have overlapping lines. Neither one of those are going to work for me when I go to import it into Tecla. So you need to trim these, extend these, whatever you're going to do. I'm going to use the chamfer command um, to just kind of clean up these corners a little bit. Uh, and that way we have a nice cleaned up shape. Now I happen to know that the rest of this file is okay, but if I didn't know where this was coming from, I would go through and, you know, check each and every one of these different corners and make sure it was all right. One final thing we're going to have to do, and sometimes you only discover this through trial and error, like trying to import it, seeing it not work or seeing it come in too small. 
Tekla thinks in metric. So to do an imperial to metric conversion, we have to multiply by 25.4. So in order to do that, what I'll say here is I want to scale up my uh, CAD file by 25.4. We'll go ahead and save this, and it should be now ready to go. So I'll go back to Tekla, um, go back through that command again, file, catalogs, define profile using DWG. We'll choose that um, recently updated file there. And then we'll call this, let's see, a decking example. You know, normally I would call this whatever the manufacturer called it, but again, we're trying to keep things simple here today. And then pick two points to finish making that. And we can see that that comes in. Okay, so if you go to insert this and you, you find that you're getting just a line, a very thin line, that means that the profile failed, start to go back and check for some of those things. Check the scale, check to make sure that the shape closes. You can either use poly, uh, P edit command, you can use region, uh, region. There's a, a couple other commands you probably may know um, to, to find out if a polygon closes, but that is a requirement. And then if you get stuck, always you know feel free to reach out to your local help desk. They can usually look over the file and give you some tips as to why it may not be importing. All right, so I hope you found this quick video helpful. Um, as always, you know, reach out to us if you do have any questions about this kind of stuff, and thank you for watching.